Hi, I'm Tulio DeSantis. And I'm Dr. Thomas Fink. We started Mind Reflector Technologies to introduce uh, low-cost, easy-to-use, and simple-to-understand neurofeedback to the world and to make the world a better place. And neurofeedback is a fascinating technique for monitoring the brain's behavior and encouraging openness, focus, attention, and relaxation. We'd like to use this video to demo the product for you. Mind Reflector software uses the MindWave headset from Neurosky.com. This is the USB version of the Neurosky MindWave. First install the software for the headset and make sure it's in good working order. Make sure the headset is working by testing it out with one of the Neurosky applications that comes with the MindWave. I'll try the meditation journal. And we can see that it's working since we're getting a reading here, and that shows you that the headset's working. Okay, now it's time to install the Mind Reflector software. And you'll see there's a place to enter a serial number. Click the registration. We'll demo the software here. On the right, you have your current brainwave profile. This is your EEG uh, in real time. On the left, you have the current protocols. This is a protocol that's uh, selected. You can change protocols by hitting the options screen. Every time you choose a different protocol, you'll get a different display on the left side because you're encouraging and inhibiting different brainwave patterns. You can also choose media files here by going into your media library and picking up uh, different MP3 files or different AVI files to play. There's a default media file that comes with the software and that'll play with Windows Media Player visualizations. Uh, depending upon how you have your Windows Media Player set up, it will uh, inherit those settings. So if you want to play continuously, you set up Windows Media Player to play continuously. If you want a random play, you can set that all up in Windows Media Player. Also, you set your visualizations in Windows Media Player. We'll save that, and now we're ready to go. Hi, this is Amy. She's been able to successfully install the NeuroSky system onto her computer with the Mind Reflector software. We want to illustrate the use of the system in a home setting. You begin by double clicking on the Mind Reflector icon, at which point an initial screen appears. There are a number of options available on this screen that you may want to investigate at your leisure. To begin training, you click the OK button, you'll see the control screen, and then we want to connect. Click the connect button and you know you've connected when you see the colored uh, bar graphs. You begin training by choosing a specific protocol. To do that, go to the File button, the Options button, and you'll see displayed four choices. Quiet Focus, Meditative Relaxation, Full Spectrum, and Alpha Theta Training. I thought we'd illustrate Amy's use of the meditative relaxation protocol. Begin by choosing that protocol, hitting the save button, and then the display reflects the protocol you've chosen. Training begins then by hitting the start training button. At that point the visual display occurs and the operator chooses a difficulty level from the difficulty screen. I find most people can successfully begin between a two and three level difficulty. You want to choose a difficulty level that produces enough feedback so that uh, there's an occurrence, I find approximately 60 to 80 percent of the time, but enough interference that training is actually occurring. So let's let Amy train a few minutes at this current level of difficulty. There is a timer. When that timer reaches the desired uh, point, 
you can hit the stop button. At that point, a feedback sheet will present itself that shows the number of cycles or seconds of training, the number of seconds of training that were successful, the average difficulty level, and a score based on that difficulty and success rate. Once that score is achieved, you can click on the internet connection that will take you to the Mind Reflector website and you can then get an interpretation of your success uh, in that particular training session.